Good morning, everybody. It's Stacy Ryder from the Chippewa Branch Library presenting Storytime. Today we are talking about shadows because our buddy Phil saw his yesterday. And I'm hoping that some of you may have uh, seen the video that I shared yesterday on the library Facebook page of what happens in Punxsutawney on a quiet, <laughs> on a quiet February 2nd. I have never been there. I've always wanted to go. So it was really neat to see it the whole way through things that they've done in the past. Um, they, have, they have entertainment before Phil comes out at sunrise. So it was neat to see some videos of that and then to see what actually happens without a giant crowd there in a 20 second blurb from the news. It was, it was really cool. So you should, you should take a look at that if you can. Um, and here is Phil right here. Stacy's little own groundhog, Phil. Yeah, actually, I don't think that's his name. Oh, it is. It is Punxsutawney Phil. He's from 2007. Must have been an anniversary for, for him. But I, I pulled him out today because I, I've had him and I thought I got rid of him and I've never used him for story time. So here he is. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do some rhymes today. Let's get started. We're going to start with one about groundhogs. And I should have been doing it last month to get you ready, but that's okay. Here is a groundhog. Do you see these guys floating around your yard or... Oh, I'm losing stuff in the wind. Or I guess they wouldn't be floating around your yard. They'd be roaming around your yard. My favorite spot to find them when I was a little girl was on the way home from my grandma's house. She lived in Freedom, and um, we lived here in Chippewa. And at Brady's Run, at the light at Brady's Run, they were always running around that area there, that little grassy area at the light. And that's where I remember seeing them all the time when I was a kid. They eat apples out of my dad's tree. They would stand up to pick them. They were pretty tall in his yard. Now that tree is gone, and they don't live there anymore, as far as I know. Oh, well, we're doing that wrong. Okay, sorry. Stacy's a little uh, scattered today. So it goes like this. I'm a little groundhog, furry and brown. I'm popping up to look around. If I see my shadow, down I go. Six more weeks of winter. Oh, no. And we sing that. Okay, ready? I'm a little groundhog, furry and brown. I'm popping up to look around. If I see my shadow, down I go. Six more weeks of winter, oh no. And today's craft, if you get the craft bag, craft kit, has that poem on it. You'll put, you'll glue that on. And there is Phil. You will get a little fill to cut out and color. And then your grown up will put slit in the bottom of the cup, which is really easy growing up. You take a sharp knife and just push it through and you push the stick through and then you tape or glue fill to the other end. So he pops up. Pretty cool. All right. Let's do this. All right. A newer rhyme. I don't think we've done this one for a while. You know who these kids are? You can see what's behind them. That might give you a clue. That is Jack and Jill, and they're going up the hill to fetch a pail of water from the well. All right, you ready? Jack and Jill went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Who's that creepy guy? He's not creepy. That's our friend. That's Itsy Bitsy. Okay. Can I see your Itsy Bitsies? Can you do this? Put your fingers together. All right, you ready? The Itsy Bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. All right. I see Anna's watching and Kristen, I see you're watching with your daughter 
and her name just went out of my head. Carolyn? Caroline? Great. Let's see, what are we going to do next? We'll do these. You guys know these. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Did you see the look of surprise on my face? A hawk just flew like 10 feet in front of me. <laughs> At least he was quiet. <laughs> he didn't make any noise. He was trying to be stealthy, trying to sneak up on somebody. It wasn't me. He kept going. All right, what do we have here? Yes, we have the cow jumping over the moon. What shape is the moon in this picture? That is a circle. Sometimes it doesn't look exactly like a circle when it's up in the sky. All right, ready? Hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with a spoon. Good. All right, do you guys remember this one? It's been a few months since we've done it. I just felt like pulling some new stuff today that I haven't seen for a couple of months. This is little boy Blue. What's he doing? He is not looking after what he's supposed to be looking after. <laughs> That's what's happening. Do you see? Where's that cow? Is the cow supposed to be in the corn? I don't think the farmer will be very happy. All right, little boy blue, come blow your horn. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where is the boy who looks after the sheep? Under the haystack, fast asleep. All right, let's do some snowflake. We're gonna count some snowflakes. Could you count all the snowflakes we've had the past few days? Me neither. <laughs> I didn't even try. I know there are more than 10. All right, do you remember how to do this? 10 little snowflakes on my tongue, on my hat, on my mittens, and on my boots. All right, here we go. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, 10 little snowflakes on my tongue. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes on my hat. One little, <coughs> two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, ten little snowflakes on my mittens. Look at my mittens. They are mittens now, and now they're gloves with no fingers. That's so I can turn pages on the book. All right. Oh, I gotta keep them down so we can keep counting. One little, two little, three little snowflakes, four little, five little, six little snowflakes, seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes, 10 little snowflakes on my boots. Good. Have you been playing out in the snow? Did you build a snowman? I have not. I'm staying in my house where it's nice and warm. I love snow. I love winter. I know that's weird to some people, not to me, but I like to be able to snuggle up in my house and look at it snow. <laughs> All right, one more. We know which one this is. That's grandma's glasses. All right, are we ready? Get your fingers ready to form glasses. Can you pinch your fingers? make circles. All right. And then grandpa's glasses are bigger so we don't have to pinch. Ow! My hair. All right, here we go. These are grandma's glasses and this is grandma's hat. And this is the way she folds her hands in her lap. These are grandpa's glasses and this is grandpa's hat. And this is the way he folds his arms and takes a nap. Okay. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, so these stand there. All right. 
this is the book I brought today. It's about shadows, like I told you. It's called The Dark, Dark Night, and it's by M. Christina Butler, and the pictures are by Jamie Chapman, and you might recognize her, her artwork because she is the same illustrator that does the Karma Wilson books, Bear, um, Bear Snores On, Bear Stays Up for Christmas, that I like to use a lot in my story time. And I am going to take these gloves off as much as I don't want to. Just so I can turn the pages. And hopefully by the end of the book, I'll still be able to turn the pages. All right. In the dark, dark night. First of all, this animal on the front, do you know what he is? We don't have these in our country. They don't live in the wild here. They live in the wild overseas in Europe. This is a badger. They are black and white and gray, but not like a scutter. And I just think they're really cool. I don't know why. Because we don't have them here, I guess. All right. Here we go. There is Frog. Frog was very excited. All winter, he had been asleep under a stone. And now that it was spring, he was on his way back to his pond. On the way, he bumped into Badger and Hedgehog. Then he played Leapfrog with Rabbit and Mouse. Spring puts a spring in your step, I guess. Not that playing. Suddenly, he saw that it was getting dark. So he borrowed a lantern from Mouse, and off he went through the woods to the pond. Ooh, ooh. The wind blew in the trees. Squeak, squeak, went the lantern as it swung from side to side, and the dark was all around. When Frog reached his home, he put the lantern down behind him and was just about to jump into the water when he saw... A huge black pond monster with enormous claws! coming out of the reeds. Oh my goodness. He must have been so scared, that frog. Frog grabbed the lantern and hopped as fast as he could back through the woods. There's a huge monster in the pond, he cried. Are you sure? laughed Hedgehog. Frog nodded, trembling. All right, Hedgehog, said calmly. We'll have a look together. And I'll come too, said Mouse. go. Off they went through the woods. Ooh, ooh, the wind blew in the trees. Squeak, squeak, went the lanterns. Wait for me, cried Mouse, and the dark was all around. Soon Hedgehog and Frog reached the pond. Now, said Hedgehog, where's this monster? There he is. There it is, cried Frog, and it was bigger than before, with enormous claws and terrible spikes down its back. Run! Run! cried Hedgehog. Pond monster! Pond monster! Oh, my goodness. What's all this? chuckled Rabbit. A monster? There's no such thing as monsters. Come see for yourself, said Hedgehog, shivering. All right, said Rabbit. I will. I've never, I've never, I'll never swim in my pond again, sniffed Frog, as they set off through the woods. Ooh, ooh, blew the wind in the trees. Squeak, 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 went the lanterns. Wait for me, cried Mouse, and the dark was all. I'm trying to see in the camera the words, and it's kind of hard for me. Oh my goodness! It wasn't long before they were back at the pond. Rabbit, hedgehog, and frog tiptoed to the water. There it was again, the big pond monster. It was bigger than ever. It had enormous claws, terrible spikes down its back, two big horns, and wildly waving arms. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Run for your life, yelled Rabbit, racing back through the woods with Hedgehog and Frog close behind. What's going on? asked Badger. So they told him all about it. Come along, Badger said. I'd like to see this monster of yours. And off they went once more. Ooh, ooh, howled the wind. Squeak, squeak, went the lanterns. Wait for me, cried Mouse. And the dark was all around. As they reached the pond, a huge gust of wind came through the trees and blew out all the lanterns. <gasps> I can't see a monster, said Hedgehog at last. That's because it's too dark, whispered Frog. And there they stood, waiting in the moonlight for something to happen. Oh my goodness. Look at their eyes. Do you look like that when you're scared when you are scared of something? Just then, Mouse caught up with the others at last. Yoo-hoo! She shouted, waving from the bank. Badger, Rabbit, and Frog looked at Mouse. And they then they looked at the small black shape waving from the woods. From the reeds. Do you see that? Look at that, said Hedgehog. That's not a pond monster, said Rabbit. That's Mouse's shadow, said Frog. I can't believe it, said Badger. You are running from your shadows every time. My goodness. The four friends laughed and laughed and laughed. Hooray, cried Frog. There's no monster after all. And with a huge happy splash, he leaped into his lovely pond at last. That's the end. Have you seen your shadow? Today is a really great day. The sun is shining right now to go outside and see your shadow. Or if it's coming in your window, you can go stand in the sunshine in your window and see your shadow on the floor. It's probably a better idea because it's really cold outside. Uh, have you ever been afraid of your shadow? You shouldn't be because it's just you in the light. And the light isn't scary. All right, I'm going to show you some animals. What animal is this shadow? That is a giraffe. What animal is this one? This is a beaver. You see his long flat tail? That's a beaver. And this one isn't a real creature, it's a mythical creature. That is a dragon. See the dragon? What else? Do you see this one? You see it has a little baby in its pocket? That is a kangaroo. Whoops. What's this one? That is a camel. Do you see its hump? Do you know what goes in the hump of a camel? They live in the desert and there's not a lot of water there, so the water that they do get to drink, they store a lot of it in that hump. I think that's pretty cool. This is a hippopotamus. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Did you ever hear that song before? I think it's kind of silly, but it's fun. What's this one? Can you see? That is the king of the jungle. That is the lion. And that is a, a male lion, a boy lion. And there we have a cow. This one's going to be tough. We don't have these in Pennsylvania, maybe at the zoo. And they have a hard, hard armor that they wear to protect them. And then they roll up in a ball if they're attacked. This is an armadillo. 
We have one of these for our Christmas tree with a Santa hat. My husband went to Texas. I know. Another creature that doesn't exist anymore. That's a dinosaur. It might be a Brontosaurus or an Apatosaurus. I'm going with Brontosaurus. Can you see what this one might be? This one's kind of hard. This one is a tiger. It's hard to see because he doesn't have stripes. An elephant. You see his long trunk and his tusks. All right, this one, this, there's been one of these on the news or on YouTube videos lately playing. This is a panda bear, and they are black and white all at the same time, not one and the other, unless it's just their shadow. And one more. That is a bear. Eh. That's a bear's shadow. All right, you guys. So some announcements about the library. We're still not open, but you can still pick up story time craft kits. There is a craft for each week of the three weeks that we're doing story time uh, in February. Um, plus some surprises because it's Valentine's Day in a couple of weeks. Um, what else? Um, I don't have very many this time. So um, call the library and you get yours. I have um, some set aside for my regulars already because I know they come every month. So Juliana, there's one for you. And Anna, Anna there's one for you. And if you need one, just call the library. But those two are packed up and ready to go whenever you call and tell Miss Nikki. Uh, what else? We will have a story hike at the end of the month, not in the middle. Um, when we're getting ready for Read Across America Week. It will be set up the last Friday in February and go into March. Uh, not sure what the story is yet. Still working on that. What else? Yeah, Read Across America Week is coming up the first week of March, and I have a really cool story picked up for that. Um... Hmm, 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 hmm. I think that's everything. If you need books, you can certainly order online and we'll get them ready for you and call, um, send you an email or call you when they're ready and then you arrange a pickup time. And all we do is we leave them out on the pickup table at the on the day you request them and you come get them. They'll already be checked out in a bag for you with your name on it. Same thing with the craft bags. They will be in um, on our pickup table with, the name, with your name on them in a bag. If you have any other questions or comments, please call the library. You can comment anything here on um, this post to tell me hello and let me know you are here. I like to know who's here. It's hard to take, see, I can't see everybody. I don't have somebody reading the feed when um, I'm doing story time. All right, it was good to be back with you. It's freezing, but you know, I have three other people in the house right now and you don't need to see story time live. They, no, no. They can watch and not tell me that they're here. <laughs> oh, hey, Leah. How are you? I'm so glad you like the crafts. I'm glad, yeah, she called the other day to get books, and I said, oh, take this now. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a great day and a great week. I will see you next week. Next week, I'm going to do our Valentine's story time. See ya.